We're going to turn now to TV legend Don Francisco. He was the host of the longest running variety show of all time, Sabado Gigante, which ran for more than 50 years. Now he's opening up about his life and career in a new memoir, A Will to Live. Victor Kendo sat down with him to talk about it. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, George. For Latinos, he is like Johnny Carson, Dick Van Dyke, and David Letterman all wrapped into one. He had some extra time on his hands during the pandemic, so he wrote a new book reflecting on his storied career in front of the camera and opening up about the man behind the legend. Sábado Gigante, the show that dominated Saturday nights on Univision for more than half a century. Known for its steady stream of Latin American icons. Outrageous antics. And a showcase for high profile Americans to reach Latinos around the world. Behind the success of Guinness World Records longest running variety show of all time is this man, Don Francisco, whose real name is Mario Kreutzberger. At 19, he was next in line to take over the family clothing business, and then he saw television for the first time. It was love at first sight. Three years later, in 1962, he started hosting Sábado Gigante. For the English-speaking audience, how do you explain what your show was like? This is an extravaganza show. Your show is like a soup. We had everything. We had interviews, we had sketches, we had uh, singers, and we were adding every week something different to the basic ingredients. The show came to an end in 2015. Back then, he showed me around his trophy room, or what he calls his Sala de Premios. He's worked on a number of projects since, but the pandemic put everything on hold. He decided to write his second book, Con Ganas de Vivir. Why did you decide to write this book during this time? Well, first, that was a coincidence. I had time to do it, <laughs> first. But I had so many things to tell the audience. Everything what I was feeling the last 20 years, I went back sometimes to my beginnings and my feelings. And for the first time, he's focusing on his mental health as he accepts life as an 80-year-old. Why did you start speaking with a psychiatrist? Because this is a new life, and, I, and I, I'm trying to do my best in this, maybe the last part of my life. I don't know for how long. How much better do you feel mentally? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just doing that maybe three, four months. Uh -huh. I don't feel a big difference. I think it's helping me, but it's slow. He's also confronting criticism about the show on the heels of the Me Too movement. Looking back on your show, do you wish it, you'd handled things a little differently? Times are changing and everything has to change. The, position of women and men at the same level, I think that is something very important. Would you do your show differently now? Oh, I'm complete. We have to do it different. But one thing would remain the same. El Don is deeply superstitious. You always have a, um, you, you at least used to carry around a lucky charm with you. Yeah. Do you still have it? Yeah. Is it on you? Huh? El palito. <laughs> Can piece, we see it real quick? Can you hold it up? A piece of stick. But I use always under my ring. His new book, Con Ganas de Vivir, The Will to Live, it's out now in Spanish. It will be released in English later this year. George, that lucky charm, I think it works. On the air for 53 years, guess how many shows he missed? One. Wow. Just one show. George? Thoughtful man. Victor, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.